हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट हब प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इट सो इन टूडेज मॉड्यूल वी विल टॉक अबाउट द फॉल्ट फाइंडिंग एंड द डायोड टेस्टिंग सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द ट्रबल शूटिंग ऑफ ए प्रिंटेड सर्किट बोर्ड वी विल टॉक अबाउट द ट्रबल शूटिंग ऑफ ए ई बोर्ड Uh, let us say you have a populated printed circuit board and you have to find the faulty component okay you have to find the faulty diode so let us see how do we find a faulty diode so we will learn today uh, finding a defective diode from board okay so for this we need to have we need to have a multimeter and we need to have a multimeter we need to have a multimeter probe and we need to have a diode so this is multimeter this is multimeter probe and this is diode and again this is multimeter probe so let us start so uh, to test a diode we will test a diode by using two method one is a uh, diode test method and other one is ohmic diode test method okay so first see let us see a diode test method to test your diode you have to you have to connect your multimeter in diode function as shown in yellow mark okay you have to connect your multimeter in diode function so i want to let you no one more thing maybe some people know some people do not know the internal uh, internal voltage of digital multimeter is 2.5 volt to 3.5 volt okay so if you have got a good diode how do we uh, ensure that this is good diode so let us see so this is let's say a good diode and this is anode terminal and this is cathode terminal so if you connect your multimeter red probe to anode and multimeter black probe to cathode you will see 0.7 volt at your multimeter display uh, right so forward bias test diode has got very low resistance and you may see the voltage range 0.5 volt to 0.9 volt okay where does it come from okay this value where does it come from this basically comes from that multimeter internal voltage since the digital multimeter internal voltage is 2.5 volt to 3.5 volt that is good enough to give a supply to bias a diode in forward condition okay because of that once you diode is in forward wise you will get 0.7 volt at your multimeter display okay now let us talk about second case if you connect your multimeter probe in reverse fashion that means your red probe is connected to the cathode and your black probe is connected to the anode your multimeter display will show you ol that means overload condition so for reverse bias test diode internal resistance has uh, diode internal resistance is extremely high that means it is open circuit and your multimeter will show you overload condition in a nutshell uh, in a nutshell for good diode test uh, in forward wise you will get 0.7 volt your at your multimeter display and you will get overload condition at your multimeter display okay so guys now let us talk about the defective diode test uh, let us say you have a defective diode in your printer circuit board how do you identify yes this is defective diode okay so in case of defective diode if you connect your multimeter in forward bias or reverse bias since defective diode is having very high resistance that means it is open for both forward bias and reverse bias and your multimeter will show you ol that means overload condition 
okay so defective diode is basically two type one is it is if it is open and if it is short for defective diode if it is open your multimeter will show you ol at the display okay for defective diode if it is short your multimeter will show you 0.00 volt at the display for defective diode if it is short okay it has a very low resistance for both forward and reverse bias that is why it is it will show you volt 0.00 volt at the display so for defective diode there is two case one is open if it is open your multimeter will display you ol if it is short your multimeter will display you 0.0 volt now let us say you don't have diode test function then how will you now identify uh, uh, I, how will you find the fault how will you test your diode so by using diode ohmic function you have to set your multimeter in ohm okay by using diode ohmic function you will test you will come to know that yes this is this is good diode and this is bad diode so for forward bias test if diode is in good condition a good diode is having having resistance of few hundred to few thousand ohms for forward bias and that is depend on the internal battery voltage so the actual resistance of forward bias diode is typically much less than 100 ohm okay uh, for reverse bias test a good diode is having extremely high resistance for reverse bias condition and it indicate ol on the dmm display okay so if you want to test your diode by using ohmic function okay you want to measure ohm by using multimeter if you connect it in forward bias condition it will show you the resistance value in uh, a few hundred to few thousand ohm but practically it should be less than 100 ohm if you connect your diode in reverse fashion it will show you it will show you overload condition in a nutshell if you want to test your diode by using diode test function a good diode will show you a good diode will show you 0.7 volt at forward bias ol at reverse bias a defective diode will show you ol for forward bias and reverse bias if it is open sir open if if diode has got open if it is open and if diode is short it will show you 0.00 volt for both forward bias and reverse bias if you test your diode by using ohmic function for forward bias condition it will show you the value uh, resistance value in few ohms but in reverse bias it will show you the overload so that's all hope you understand the concept thank you so much for watching this lecture